We are on one of my favorite lakes here in central Minnesota. Not only does it have gigantic smallmouth bass, but the water right now is crystal clear and the fish are on bed. So I decided to bring out some of my camera gear and see what baits these fish react to more. Of course, when they're on beds, they're really just trying to get your bait off the bed. We're gonna try a few different things here. I wanna drop this camera down. This is kind of the best idea I have here. I mean, it's crystal clear water. If they're gonna get spooked, they're gonna get spooked as soon as I pull up. So hopefully we can drop this thing down on some fish and start getting some really good footage. Let's see if we can find a bed and drop it down. All right, we are gonna drop down the camera right here. We have got a bed right over there with a fish on it. Flip a few casts with our baits and see if we can get this fish to strike. All right, I'm gonna try a craw bait, see if he likes that. He's interested. He's looking at it. There we go. Made sure to give him time. Not a bad yep. one. I honestly don't think any of these fish are smaller than three pounds. They are all nice. On the Ned Rig Craw, some gorgeous Minnesota smallies. This one's about three and a quarter. I mean, look at the color on those eyes. That is just absolutely beautiful. Let's get it right back in the water. That is just a blast. We're gonna keep on fishing and see if we can maybe find some more beds moving on down this way. All right, we're gonna to try to catch this guy right here. We're gonna see if it's aggressive enough to wanna to take a smack at this little craw here. He keeps eyeing it down. There we go. Took him a while, but he picked it up. He smoked the craw. Such a beautiful fish. Let's get this guy right back in the water. Sometimes they'll be kind of held up under this dock. Too hard to put a camera there. I'm just gonna flip a cast and see what happens. Got him. Sadly, I couldn't get a camera under there, but I thought there might be a fish under that dock. Sure enough. Not on a bed, but still a nice three and a half, four pound smolly choked the craw right back under there. He was sitting right under that dock, skipped under it, twitched it a few times, and she came out and popped it. There is nothing wrong with these beauties right here. I'm gonna guess this one's three and a half pounds, maybe getting close to four. We're gonna weigh her real quick. 
Four? Three nine two. Three nine two. All right. Nice little four pounder right there. Let's get it right back in the water. Sadly, it wasn't on the underwater camera because I did not put it down there. But it's so much fun, not even on a bed, just sitting right under a dock. Nice looking fish. We're just fishing a little island right here. I mean, how cool is this? There's a house on this island. We're in some shallow, clear water. And there is some giant smallmouth just roaming around. We're gonna keep on casting, hopefully find some more beds we could throw a camera on and see what happens next. I'm gonna give this fish a mini wacky rig right there. See if he likes this one a little bit better. I'm just having a hard time getting him to stick the hook. Oh, he grabbed it. Got him. You got it? What? How? I've never had a hook pull out like that. Grabbed it again. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> Not a bad fish at all. This one's got to be getting close to the four pound mark. Chunky little smallie. Let's get this guy back in the water. Catch another one. And there she goes, back in the water to see another day. I want to make sure she swims off all right. And there she goes, going right back over to her bed. Another fish in the books. Nothing wrong with that at all. So happy with that. We're going to keep on fishing and catch another one. Wow, okay. That was easy. <laughs> oh, why am I under the the gill? I'm gonna have to look back at that footage. I don't think I foul hooked this fish. I wanna look back at that footage. I mean I felt a move. I'm gonna get the guy back in the water. Oh, anyway, that was weird. I really felt that fish move. Now I'm kinda curious here. Looks like that might be a bed right there. Nice Molly. Both these have fish on it. I'm gonna try this one last dock and then I think I am gonna call it a day. I'm just not seeing much anymore over here. Not much for fish. We'll see, we'll try this last dock, skip under it, see if there's a fish, otherwise we're gonna to have to call it a day. Now there's nothing else over here. All right, we. Ooh, got a musky. Oh my god. Musky? It was a musky. 100% musky. 
And that is gonna be the end of today's video. We caught a whole bunch of fish, had a great time. Sorry it was such a short video, but it is starting to get a little bit wavy and my trolling motor is almost dead. So we're gonna have to end the video here. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I like making videos like this. Threw the tripod down, got some crazy eats of this fish. It was just unbelievable. These fish are not willing to leave their bed, which makes it really, really fun when you're putting a camera down there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, learn something new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Of course, new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.